Hey, what's up? This is Joe Burris from Born of Osiris, and you're watching Pit Cam TV. Okay, so tour is about three quarters in. How's it been going so far? Uh, it's been going really well. We've just been uh, hanging out with all the bands every night, and uh, like I told you, it's just like right now I feel like it's kind of this point where there's a week left and everybody's getting a little worn down. Yeah. So the last couple of days have been a lot chiller, but I think we're probably going to get a little bit crazier tonight <laughs> being in Berlin usually gets wild so <laughs> any favorite shows so far um the two favorite shows I think were London and Paris I mean they're just bigger cities so uh, the shows were bigger and I don't know something about whenever we play London like the crowd there just goes like banana sandwich it just mm -hmm. goes wild <laughs> Is that a feeling that you've had for a long time that the the English or the British crowds are uh, more into you or um I don't know I just especially feel like London we've always had like super good shows like I'm pretty sure every time we play London it like sells out and so it's just a really good response there really really fun cool. I hear you're shooting a tour documentary yeah uh, our guitar player Lee got a GoPro mm -hmm. so we've been having fun with that and uh, yeah, we've gotten some uh, we've gotten some good footage. This should be out. I don't know. Hopefully in a couple of weeks. I think we're gonna do like a two part thing, so or like maybe a three part because we'll try and maybe do like one per week. Oh. Okay. But <laughs> it's been hard because the we gotta send all the files to get them edited, and it's like there's always like shitty Wi-Fi, you know, and there's like a hundred dudes trying to use the Wi-Fi, so it's been difficult trying to get that out. But yeah, we're excited. Um, Tonight We Die Alive has been out for about nine months now. Um, what uh, what have these nine months been like to you guys? Um, it's been really fun. I just like, ob obviously like with any record, you love playing the new songs the best because they're the freshest and you know, like we've been playing New Rain songs for so long now. So I feel like the big, the big thing for me is just like being able to play and uh, do some new vocal stuff like with our song Exhilarate and even Divergency I kind of get to do um, more like singing-ish mm -hmm. vocals which are really fun to do live and get to, uh, I have a wireless mic now so I can like run around and be more mobile. Except for that, what sets this album apart from the previous one? Um, I think... Uh, I think uh, the electronic aspect and just the production aspect are a lot better on this record. Um, also the vocals, I think we got um, some really good takes out of both Ronnie and I. We did the vocals with Alan Hessler in, uh, in Los Angeles and that was just a really fun process going out there and working with him. So yeah, I think uh, it's just cool, it's just a progression. I think all our albums are just a progression of us and us as people and, and musicians. So. I've noticed that quite a lot of people actually bitch a little bit about the keyboard parts like on your videos and stuff. How do you guys feel really? about that? Yeah. It's weird because I feel like we, um, we've we been doing that for so long okay. and other people are like, oh, it's just another band that is putting keyboards in their music, but it's like, well, we've always done that. Like, it's not like we're jumping on some keyboard bandwagon, you know, like. So, I don't know, I guess it's kind of weird when I hear people bitch about it, because it's like, well, if you don't like that, then you don't like us, because that's who we yeah. are, so. <laughs> it seems like you have a lot of different influences. Which ones would you say are the most prominent ones? Um, it's weird, yeah, like me personally, I don't really listen to a whole lot of like uh, metal. Okay. Like vocal influences is like, I don't know, more like, pop music almost honestly okay. like I guess but I, I still like I get influences from everything I hear and everything like going on tour with uh, bands even like Buried in Verona like some of their stuff on this tour has been really inspiring their vocal parts are really cool so um, it's a combination of everything I, I feel like uh, be, seeing bands live and just listening to different styles and even like uh, some like more jazzy music, like Reign of Kindo, which we all listen to. It's like a super talented, like jazzy band, and they're just amazing, amazing, so. What, uh, you guys are very uh, involved in the whole production um, process. Um, why do you choose to do so much of it yourself? Um, I, uh, 
have always like recorded bands and just been in production since I've been in a band. I guess that was just always something that I did. And then uh, Lee got really into it. He surpassed me. I, I kind of like slowed down and now he's mixing and doing a lot of that stuff. But I guess just like everyone knows how to do it. So we just take it to our advantage and like we save money on album. Like sometimes, you know, they'll give us a big chunk of money to do, do our record. And it's like, well, we can do the drums and the vocals, but the guitars and everything else, keyboards, we can just do it at our house and save money and, you know, buy magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> what does the writing and the recording process look like with you guys? Do you do, do, you do a lot of writing in the studio? or? Um, I say we do a lot of, like, tweaking in the studio, but all, like, the main writing is usually done before we get in the studio. Um, yeah, like, Ronnie and I, we do, like, all the vocals pre-production, like, just, like, in my room or whatever like he'll come over or we used to live together but yeah now like he'll come over and we just like work on parts and write vocals together and then uh just um i guess like i would hope that this next record maybe we could have more of like a vibe where we kind of just all go into the studio and and just are there for like a month and just work on it and opposed to the last couple records where it's been like okay you go do drums here you go do guitar here and it's kind of like it turned out good like it was fine but like i would rather kind of be together for the next one hopefully mm -hmm. in that process so um the past two albums feature really gorgeous artwork by cameron gray how did you guys get involved with him we got involved um he did uh dead letter circus which we uh, are we're big fans of them and uh, uh, friends with them. We just toured with them in the fall. And we just were like, wow, this is amazing. Can you please like do something? And so he did our last few records and then we got to meet him when we were in Australia last. And he's just like the coolest dude ever. And I have like even artwork, I ordered artwork off of his website that I have like framed in my room. And so hopefully maybe get a tattoo by him one day or something, I don't know. Like of his work. How involved are you when he creates the artwork? Uh, does he work like alone or? Um, the first record, it was just like he had all this awesome artwork and we just loved it and we didn't really have to tweak anything. This last one, we did a little bit more of like, hey, you know, we want the guy to do this or this, like with his hands and kind of darken it, you know. But mainly, you know, he's an artist and he knows best, so. The, the only things we say are just like tiny like little adjustments. <laughs> think you'll continue working with him? Um, yeah, I would think so. I don't really see um, any other direction unless uh, Sumerian knows somebody, but that's like our favorite artist at the moment. So, <laughs> so what's next for you guys now? Warp Tour. Uh -huh. Getting crazy on Warp Tour. We go, we go home, we have a week off after this, and then we go straight onto that. So. It's gonna be busy, 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 and then you're doing the whole thing. Uh, yeah, we're doing all all the shows and uh, a lot of off day shows. So oh, okay. we don't really like it. Like this tour doesn't have any off days. We prefer that because right. it's just you're just spending money, you know, sitting in like a Walmart parking lot. Like I'd rather be playing shows and hanging out. It's way more fun than having a day off. So cool. Thank you so much. No problem. After this tour. Uh, warp tour in the summer. We have like a month. Doing the whole thing? Yeah. It's like a month and a half off once you get home from here. And then we're doing the whole warped. It's going to be hot and sweaty. Mm hmm. And then in the fall, we don't really have much planned. Yeah. Us, we're, we're in the works of things. Yeah. But more, more or less, we're just going to be playing a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. How important is warp tour in the U.S., you know, to sort of break, break out as a band? It's, it's huge. huge. Yeah. It's literally probably the biggest tour for a band to break I mean it's kind of like Eminem band. did it back in the day you know Katy Perry's done it like there's so Blink-182 you know Paramore. there's all these legendary artists that have done it